Actually, we're going to do another uh, video just calling attention to some of the prices that have changed recently. Um, it's not going to be a real long list this week, but still some things that we want to call attention to. Uh, so unless you've been sleeping under a rock, you know that uh, modern changed a lot. Uh, ancestral uh, vision was unbanned, as well as sort of the meek for the uh, Doctor Foundry combo, and uh, I have Ugin got banned. So obviously, uh, I has been turning me on for a while because everyone expected that to be banned. Uh, there's a little collateral um, damage, just the prices you may want to pay attention to, uh, whether that is full motor mage dropping a little bit, cavern of souls. I'm not sure is quite as expensive as it was. Um, and then maybe Toronto pieces aren't necessarily going to be uh, going up, they may lose some value. Um, Ancestral Vision, however, went from you know a $20 or less card uh, to $50. Um, Tezzeret, uh, Agent of Bolus, has gone up. Uh, it's up to now about $50 uh, because people were expecting uh, Dr. Foundry combo decks to insert law into Tezzeret. Um, Vindicate is still down uh, 15 uh, from 20 or 30, whatever it was. Uh, probably because people were speculating it'll be greater than EMA. Uh, Lena Island of Sanct Sanctity is 15. Uh, Study Silence is down uh, 12 uh, from 14. Um, no, these are all Star City prices, not TCG players. Keep that in mind. Uh, Throne the Last Troll is down to $10. I still think that's a solid pickup, um, as well as uh, Scavenging User, I think, still think it's a good pickup. Um, my Devil World Cruises is up to $10 now. Now, a card I've been picking up for a long time now is Birds of Paradise. Um, the market has just been saturated with them for so long because it's been printed so many times. Uh, and with Noble Hierarch, uh, there was less uh, play seen by birds. But finally, uh, it has been trending up for a number of months now. I used to be able to pick those up for just over a dollar for a while, a couple of years ago. Um, it's ticked up to two dollars and then four dollars. Now um, it's hard to find them for less than you know seven eight dollars. Uh, well, it starts to be there to ten dollars now, and I, I consider that a big deal. It's trending up. Um, it can continue to trend up as long as it's not printed in another set. Uh, so be aware of that. Um, Athreos got a passage uh, from a recent block. Uh, the God is up to ten dollars now. Uh, as is Ral Zarek. Those are both up to, back up to ten dollars now. Um, Spell Pierce is still ten dollars. Uh, Bermaz is ten dollars. Um, what I want to go through now is just list out what the uh, the RTR block Shocklands are up to now. Uh, Steamman's still up to twenty. Breeding Pool is at sixteen. Stomping Ground is at fifteen. Uh, as is uh, Watery Grave. Uh, Sacred Foundry is at fourteen. Uh, Temple Garden is at thirteen. Godless Shrine is at eleven. And then you've got Hollow Fountain. Uh, Blood Crypt, both at 10, with a uh, Book of Tomb, just under 10. And then lastly, we're going to go through uh, some of the Modern Masters, uh, Commons on Commons, from both 2013 and 2015, and just let you uh, see what their value is at currently. So, um, Kitchen Finks is the most expensive uh, Common on Common from those two sets. Uh, it's up to $16 now and sold out, so that's interesting. Uh, Path to Exile is up to 12 bucks. Um, I said earlier, Spell Pierce, uh, Spell Snare is up to uh, 10. Remand is uh, back up to 8. Lightning Helix is at 6. Kitchen Finks uh, is also at 6. So I'm glad because I found 5 more of those ones holding my cards uh, last night. Uh, Drazi Temple is down to 5. Uh, so not as low as it was before um, or the Gatewatch came out. Uh, so I think it was probably around you know, 3 bucks. Uh, but much lower than the 12 it was seen 2 months ago. Uh, Lightning Bolt is up to $5. Uh, so is Mind Funeral, interestingly enough. Uh, Relic of Genesis is at 450. Manamorphos as well. Lava Spike is at 435. Uh, that's common. Uh, Rift Bolt, also a common, is at four dollars. Uh, TFK Thirst for Knowledge is at three bucks. As is Desperate Ritual. Um, Dismember is a little under that at 269. So that's dropped a little bit since uh, Eldrazi. Uh, Street Wraith, another common, is at 250. Uh, Expedition Map a little under that at 235. So I think it's down a little bit. Liquor Wisp is at two bucks. Electrolyze is down to about fifty. Uh, as is cranial plating, electrolyze, and then it goes down from there. Uh, Paradise Mantle is a buck thirty. Uh, Raven's Crime, a common uh, that doesn't see a whole lot of play, but it's good with uh, Life from the Loom. It's at a dollar twenty-five, um, and then it goes lower than that. Spectral Obsession, Frozen Grip, and a couple cards are a uh, dollar, and not for me, it was ninety cents. 
So anyway, um, not a whole lot of things that I want to call attention to there. Um, I will say the Tabernacle of Penrill Vale has finally uh, gone up. Uh, it's a card I was trying to pick up some more of for a while, uh, but I was unable to, unfortunately, so I just had my one. Um, <clears throat> it was, for a long time, $800 and sold out on Star City. Um, but the other places were fairly in line with that. Now it's up to $1,000 and they're hard to find for uh, you know, the prices that were a few months ago before the ENA announcement. Uh, Misher's Workshop. Um, I had debated selling off my set after the Chalice uh, banning um, or restriction. Um, I did not, so I still have my set of those, and now I've got Lursum Golem that uh, has been restricted. So it's going to be interesting to see the shakeout of that. Um, that you've got your first uh, creature restriction in about two decades, it feels like. Uh, but it's still showing as $1,000 on Star City for a near mint copy with um, MP copies at 400 or 800 Anyway, um, that's all I want to talk about today. Um, I've got some uh, pack opening videos I'm going to upload uh, soon. And then uh, I uploaded uh, some Zelda playthroughs from the browser-based uh, Legend of Zelda game that came out this week and was shut down by Nintendo for copyright concerns. Um, I haven't uploaded uh, all of my videos because with the music playing in the background, there's been some copyright claims uh, for the first two videos I uploaded. But uh, if you like those games, and who doesn't like Zelda, I check them out. Anyway, let me know what you think about this video. I know I sound stupid on camera. Don't care, just trying something new. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.